I'm going to go down now and paint from that view back towards the house. Well, I want this view now, and I'm in the shade here, which is rather nice. So I'm going to paint this one, and then maybe some more afternoon or another time. The one from the view coming down this way. Well, the bottom's still here. You can see the blossom coming down all around me here. It's not going to last long. Oh, it's so beautiful, I'll just have a go. I want this sort of composition here, just working from the left hand side here up to the top of the trees and round. Got my paints and everything set out here, it's nice and easy in the garden. The first thing as usual is to just work out the composition. I've got a nice square canvas here, try and work out a lovely composition here now. Willow tree that comes up behind here. Through there. Right, there's our composite black brush. And I don't want to do the one for this job. So look at my brushes here. Uh, a medium one I'll do for this. Slap some nice sky blue on first of all. My paint, that can reach them fairly easily with a long handle. And I've got a lovely, lovely flat blue sky going on there. Take some turquoise and some cobalt. Just see if we can get a nice sky blue happening. Again, it's warm, balmy day. A touch of green. Sky going through in places. Ultramarine blue, like that in so we get these cools of the blue green blues here. Just here. The dark around the shed. Around there.
well now. Before putting on some white and cream to really bring some light out. Our composition here. Yeah. Well, there we go then. And tomorrow I'm going to paint the other way looking down this way in the morning, I think. Um, actually, it might have to be tomorrow because I've got a very busy morning coming tomorrow. It might have to be the day after. We'll see anyway. some photographs of this scene the other day, it's superb, and I've seen the local artist Agnes Dortu do a painting of this one, and I've just been waiting for the blossom to come out, so today I'll try it on a big canvas for fun, and we'll see how much of this we can get done, hope the weather stays well enough for us, and acrylics again, um, very rapid way of painting, how to block in all the colours quickly, so I need to draw it out, then I need to do is to work out the scale of the thing, how much I want to get in, I'm going to use my hands again as a square, just to work out the composition, it's quite a large amount to get in here um, and I want all of these three trees in I don't want too much of the so we have to be very quick on a, on a working like this because we have to working in plein air we've got to make sure we get everything done um, before the weather changes start. And I want to use a big brush today. I need a bit of paint I think. And we'll start with the sky. Nice big sky. Brush, big sky. See what colours we can see. Cover the canvas, get it quick, get in. Yep. 
be brave and enjoy the brush marks. Get in there. A bit of green into the sky over here now. I can just start to work up some more detailed shapes and if we just put the right shapes in the right places and the right colours hopefully I'm going to be able to get things looking like things like for instance a castle up here so let's look at that colour up there and see what it is yellow ochre perhaps and a bit of white and a little bit of the magenta let's try that first see how strong it is a bit dark
It's so hot. Yeah. Beautiful, but it's so hot. But it could be stormy later. Yeah, well, I'll get this done first. Don't give me the bad news, just the good news. Well, that's the end of that one. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It's been pushing me to do one that size in this hot afternoon. I think I quite like it. Um, I'd like to go pushing further with stronger blocks of colour yet, but it should be okay.